Python Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up a Crypto Hopper automated trading bot to trade Bitcoin on the Binance Exchange using the RSI indicator to both trigger buys and sells. Now, before we get into the weeds of the configuration, if you're not familiar with Crypto Hopper or you haven't joined the platform yet, they are a world-class automated crypto trading bot that you basically configure yourself. And there's a wide variety of indicators, strategies that you can use to trade on almost all the exchanges and pretty much all the coins you'd want to trade. And right now they're having a 30% discount on a couple of their subscriptions. And the code is Happy Holidays and that will run from today through the end of 2020. And with that being said, if we look at the investment required, you could actually start for free and do a lot of paper trading and manual trading. Uh, the bot I will deploy today, the minimum you would need is the Explorer bot. You could actually get started for $19 a month. Or if you do the yearly plan, you're looking at $16.58 a month as far as the investment for that uh, subscription. Now, what will the Explorer package get you? It will get you basically 80 positions, which is more than enough for the strategy we're going to build today uh, the max coins will be 15 i'm going to use bitcoin and eth that's it i'm not looking to trade a whole lot of crap coins and the reality is bitcoin and ethereum perform best on this strategy during this market condition you can see i also get two triggers and then you do get one simulated trading bot or a paper trading bot so you could paper trade first before you deployed this particular strategy. So now let's get down to configuring this bot. All right, so now you've joined the Crypto Hopper team and you're ready to create your first bot. You just simply come over to the toolbar over here where it says new, click on new, and the bot we'll be building today is an auto trading bot. So you just click on auto trading bot and they do have templates you can choose from. However, today we're gonna to configure ourselves and the first tab we have to complete is the basic settings and we'll name the bot and in this case it's going to be my rsi 4070 cross and i'm not going to deploy it live yet because we're just in the beginning stages of configuration and then next we need to complete our exchange and in this case we're going to be using binance and next i need to create and load binance api keys which you would get from binance so once you are logged into your Binance account, you would move your mouse over the user icon and scroll down to API management where it will ask you to create an API key. And in this case, you can name it whatever you want to name it and then click create. And then you'll have to do your verification. Once you plug all your verification information in, you will end up with your API keys and you need both the regular API key and your secret key. So you would copy and paste and then copy again. And before I go too much further, you wanna make sure that it can read and enable spot and margin trading. You don't want it to be able to enable withdraws. You could also enable futures by clicking on edit restrictions. You would then enable the bot to trade futures on your behalf. So we'll go ahead and paste the secret key in place. User ticker rate, I'm gonna go highest bid, lowest ask. Under notifications, I just really wanna be notified when a trade takes place. I'm not concerned about the errors. All right, next, before you get to your buy settings and your sell settings, you will need to assign a subscription to your bot. And you select from your bots through the dropdown and in this case, it's just the RSI 470 cross bot. And I now have it set up and I hit save. And now you have the subscription assigned to your bot. In this case, the 470 cross. I just drop down on the toolbar on the left to config, base config. And I can now continue with my buy settings. And order type, I'm going to want market. I want my order filled as quickly as possible. Maximum open buy time on Binance. Really, you should fill almost instantly. I'm gonna set it to three minutes. If it's taking longer than three minutes, something is probably wrong. And then the 
maximum open positions I want this bot to be able to hold I'm going to set up at nine and then next the max percentage open positions per coin I only want nine positions per coin as well I rarely ever get that many I typically only get a couple and you can either use a slider in this case you can actually type the percentage you want in this case I'm going to 100% and that's the nine result of 100% would be maximum nine open positions per coin again I'm only going to have two coins Bitcoin and ETH enable cooldown in this case I'm looking for a price that has rebounded substantially once we get to the strategy you'll see that strategy there should be no need for a cooldown only one open buy order per coin yes I'm going to enable that I only want one order at a time per coin the next option of only buy when there are positive pairs no they don't have to be positive pairs I'm going to be trading uh, USDT as the quote or as crypto hopper calls it the base but it's really the quote currency against BTC and ETH as far as the auto merge positions I don't want to merge my nine positions I want them to be treated individually all right now we go to the next tab of coin positions and my base currency it's actually your quote currency um, but crypto hopper calls it base but in this case I'm going to be trading USDT as my quote currency and I click on change yes change my base currency quote currency and the currency has been changed and now I can choose BTC and click on ETH and to remove a coin from this side like EOS I just click on EOS and it puts it back over on the available coins now I have up to 15 coins I could choose but I have only back tested both these coins under this strategy we'll do back testing after we have this configured so you can see how these two coins perform on this strategy so now I've got my two coins selected I'm going to hit save it's a good idea to hit save frequently if your computer crashes and you didn't hit save you'll lose all your settings the percentage buy amount I'm just going to set it at an arbitrary number as the minimum USD amount per order is what I'm actually going to force it to do and don't be concerned about this figure here right now because I haven't deployed this bot live yet it hasn't actually pinged my account and has no clue how much USDT I have available now the next box the minimum USDT amount per order I'm going to set at $100 per order and I'm going to tick off the force minimum buy amount and then the maximum USDT amount allocated I'm going to give this bot will be 900 USDT and the next tab is strategy the default would be multiple TA factors which you could configure under the advanced settings and that'll be the indicators that crypto hopper has set up we're not going to use those we're going to actually use a strategy I have configured myself and so in that case I'm going to go to RSI X 470 and where I configured this strategy is over here on the left hand toolbar is under strategies so if I click on strategies you can see I have a few strategies that I've been working on and that's going to be this RSI X 470 if I open that up for you you will see I have the indicator selected to buy and sell in this case it's RSI and absolute price oscillator and for the settings to buy I'm looking at the five minute candles and to sell on RSI I'm looking at the one hour and on the APO I'm looking at 15 minutes and I could add an indicator by simply clicking on the indicator tab here at the top and you could say all right we'll do Ichimoku cloud and we could add that you could set up your parameters now I'm not going to keep that because that's not part of my strategy and so I just simply delete it and to take a peek at the configuration of the RSI we click on the little tool button and you'll see the chart period is five minutes buy necessary close is default RSI period is nine default is 14 I change it to nine for my strategies I highly recommend you do your own recon on your own strategies and come up with your own figures my strategies are for the moment I'm making the video they've been back tested to work at that point in time 
not six months from now, not two months from now. So right now I'm using the RSI period of nine and then signal when value is greater than or equal to 40. Okay, and so if we look at a Bitcoin chart on the five minute time frame, you can see where we reach our all time high of 24,300 and it sells off. And when it sells off, it becomes oversold. And this yellow line is my 40 region. If you recall, I'm looking at that 40 region for the cross. And so what it has to do is it has to come down below that 40 region, which it clearly does. It kind of chops around as it continues down. And then we finally get it to cross over in this region here. But with that being said, I don't want it just to cross over 40. I'm looking for the price action to have a positive upward momentum. That is where the absolute price oscillator comes in at. You can see that the idea is it's looking at a couple moving averages and a positive value suggests upward movement and negative a downward movement. And so on that same five minute candles, I have set up my indicator to confirm that RSI indicator is moving in the direction I'm looking for. And so it's always a good idea to have something backing you up on your initial trigger. In this case, RSI is my initial trigger. And then the APO is going to back me up. And more often than not, I'm looking at the close of a candle to give me a trigger. And the fast period I have set as 12, short as 26. Again, you can mess with these numbers. I do continually change these numbers and I do update a video. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button if you don't want to miss my updated videos on how this bot is performing. And then the moving average I typically use is the EMA. And so the RSI and the APO are my buy triggers on my sell side. It's still RSI and APO. But on the RSI, I'm looking at a longer time frame, the one hour candles. And if we look at the actual configuration, again, it's a sell. If you want to change that to a buy, you just click on the button itself and the signal will be necessary. Again, looking at the close, you can actually choose high, low. I choose close and in this case my RSI period is 14 versus the 9. And then in this case I want the signal to be triggered when it's greater than or equal to 70. And I'm going to actually keep this signal for four candles because if we jump over to the APO on the 15 minute, I want this to turn negative before I actually sell, meaning the price is turning over and going down. That's what the APO again would indicate is downward movement is reflected with a negative. Once we cross above the 70, if it's still going up, I want to stay in the position. So I'm using the APO to assist that RSI trigger to let it continue to move up and only sell once it starts moving down. But I am using a faster time frame of 15 minute candles on the close, 12 for the fast, slow period of 26. Again, numbers you can adjust according to your strategy. The moving average type is EMA, and I only need to keep this candle for one candle because it's going to be 15 minutes would fit within my one hour candle for RSI, so they should work together that way. And that is basically how I configured my strategy. Obviously, you name it, put in your description, and hit save. So let's go back to our config page. And so from our config page, I need to select that strategy and there's the RSI X4070. Number of targets to buy, I'm going to change that to two because I could essentially have both ETH and Bitcoin triggered at the same time. Trailing stop buy, this would actually, if the price was continuing down, it would follow it down. However, my strategy is the price is moving up to enter the position. So therefore, this feature doesn't really apply to this strategy. My sell settings, take profit. I'm going to set this at 40 because I'm going to sell based on my strategy and not so much sell settings. However, if we reach that 40 mark, I'm more than happy to take my profit. I'm going to make that a market order. And again, I'll leave that open for three minutes on Binance. Your orders pretty much fill instantly. And then we'll go to sell strategy. I will actually enable sell based on strategy. And I do not enable hold assets when new target is the same. And the next tab is stop loss. 
in this situation, very rare situation, I do not deploy a stop loss as this is a higher risk strategy. And if you cannot afford to lose everything you have invested, do not use this strategy. You know I'm big on stop losses. However, on this one, I do not have a stop loss in place. And so you've been warned, you could be absolutely wiped out in a heartbeat when you're trading crypto. So you should always have a stop loss. If you don't, that's more for your elite traders and who understand the risk involved. Trailing stop loss, I will not enable that either. I could set that at 40 as I had my take profit and let it retreat a little. And that way, if it continues above a 40% profit, I would be able to continue to ride that going up. But in this case, again, all my back testing has shown I don't want this feature enabled. And then I don't do auto close. This bot doesn't do short selling for me and I never DCA. And so we'll start at the first tab. I like to run through, make sure everything is set up. RSI 4070 cross. My exchange is Binance with my keys. Highest bid, lowest ask. Notification on trade. Buy settings are going to buy at market. Buy time three minutes. Max positions of nine. And again, max positions of nine. And only one open buy order per coin. Jump over to coins and amounts. The quote currency or base currency is USDT. And I'm only trading Bitcoin and ETH. And now the percentage buy amount has actually configured itself based on this $900. And now it matches approximately my forced dollar amount of $100. And I'm happy with that. The strategy we're using is my RSI cross 470. We don't have the trailing stop buy. Price should be moving up, not down. We'll take profit at 40 if we get it. And the sell feature is based on my strategy. And they're going to tell you you could take a loss. Anytime you're trading, you can take a loss. So this warning should be on every single page. Stop loss, I did not enable. And trailing stop loss, I did not enable. We're good to go. Hit save one last time. And now that the bot is completely configured, before I deploy it to live fire, we need to back test it. So again, over on the toolbar on the left hand side, click on back test. And I'm going to click load existing configuration. And the only real difference that it did was move to sell based on strategy. And I'm going to hit start back test. And we should see some results starting to populate the screen. You can see some buys and sells happening. And while it's doing this back test right now is a real good time to tell you your back testing results do not equal future results. The back test is just to show you you had a solid strategy doesn't mean going forward you actually have a solid strategy market can change and all of this could be meaningless so not too bad of results and so it tested from november 23rd to december 21st and we can see we had 225 trades during this time frame 97 percent were winners almost 98 percent were winners and our max profit would be 2340 so in my book, this bot would be ready to be deployed, at least on Bitcoin. We now need to test ETH. We can see it's doing its thing. And again, I can't stress enough, these back test results, they have absolutely nothing to do with future performance. And we did a little better on ETH. We had zero losses. The max profit wasn't as large, but the reality is in the last month, ETH hasn't gone up as much as Bitcoin. So I'll gladly take the 12% profit on a bot that I don't have to necessarily monitor. The reality is I monitor my bots every day. I make tweaks on a regular basis. It's not truly passive income. I won't lead you to believe you can set it and forget it. If you're looking for set it and forget it, that isn't this bot. This bot is working in this current environment in the last 30 days. And so now we've had successful back testing. It's time to deploy the bot. So we jump over to the dashboard and you can see a brand new bot. Nothing's happened. Everything's zeros. And so we're ready to 
enable the hopper. You can see what it actually has available, not in position, so I need to edit my start balance to match that. We're all zeroed out. And then the last thing I need to do, and occasionally I will forget, is go back to config, base config, back to my basic settings. I need to make this a live bot and hit save. Now I can jump back over to the dashboard. And if I scroll down, the bot will eventually start looking for targets. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. So I will be doing update videos on how this bot is performing. So now again is a good time to shoot that subscribe button. Also, if you have any comments or questions, leave those in the comment section down below. And I will leave a link to Crypto Hopper. They are having a 30% off sale till the end of 2020. And if you follow that link, you can get a discount on your subscription, depending on what plan you choose. And that'll be in the description down below. And do me a favor, if you like this video, spike that like. And lastly, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.